Nikola Tesla was a genius, one of the greatest inventors in history. His ideas power the world today, but in his lifetime he was ignored, betrayed and left to die alone. Before he found the right solutions, Tesla faced rejection, failure and setbacks. This is the story of how Tesla tackled three impossible battles, how some of his greatest ideas failed before they succeeded, and how he found solutions even when the world turned its back on him. Nikola Tesla was born in 1856 in Smiljan, a small village in what is now Croatia. His father was a priest, his mother an inventor. But from the very beginning, it was clear Tesla was different. As a child, he had a photographic memory. He could solve complex equations in his head. He could visualize entire machines before ever building them. Some even called his abilities supernatural. But with genius came suffering. Tesla was haunted by bizarre visions and flashes of light, what we now call synesthesia. He suffered from severe insomnia, sometimes sleeping only two hours a night. And as he grew older, he realized that his mind, so powerful, so creative, would set him apart from the world. His dream? To create inventions that would change humanity forever. But his path would be filled with betrayal. The first challenge came in America. At 28, Tesla arrived in the United States with just four cents in his pocket and a head full of ideas. He was hired by Thomas Edison, the most famous inventor of the time. But their relationship was doomed from the start. Edison promised Tesla $50,000 if he could improve his electrical system. Tesla did exactly that. But when he asked for the money, Edison laughed and said, you don't understand American humor. Tesla had been deceived. Humiliated and broke, he quit. His first great betrayal had begun. At first, Tesla tried to secure his own funding by approaching investors. He demonstrated his ideas, hoping that industrialists would see his genius. But most refused to take the risk. His inventions were too radical, too ahead of their time. Tesla then took a different approach, manual labor. For a time, he worked as a ditch digger, struggling to survive. His ideas remained only on paper, his dreams slipping further away. Realizing he needed a new strategy, Tesla focused on creating a rival electrical system that could outshine Edison's. He designed an electrical system that was cheaper, safer and more powerful than Edison's direct current. It was called alternating current or AC and it would change the world. But not without a fight. Edison saw Tesla's technology as a direct threat. He launched a relentless media campaign calling AC dangerous and deadly. He even staged public demonstrations electrocuting animals to terrify people into believing AC was unsafe Tesla had the better system, but Edison had money, power and control over public perception. At first, Tesla tried to defend AC on his own, presenting scientific arguments and demonstrations to prove its safety. But the public was already terrified and Edison's influence was too strong. Tesla then refused to back down. Instead of fighting Edison alone, he partnered with businessman George Westinghouse, a bold move that gave him the resources to compete. Together, they took on Edison in what became known as the War of Currents. The turning point came in 1893. Tesla's AC system powered the Chicago World's Fair, proving to the world that his technology was superior. And in 1896, his system powered the first hydroelectric plant at Niagara Falls, marking the beginning of modern electricity. It was a victory that should have made him one of the richest men alive, but his greatest mistake was yet to come. With AEC now the global standard, 
Tesla could have stopped there. He could have lived as a wealthy man, but he had a bigger vision, one that would challenge the very foundations of business and industry. Tesla dreamed of free energy for all, a world where power was wireless, limitless, and accessible to everyone. And that made him dangerous. At first, Tesla had the support of J.P. Morgan, one of the most powerful businessmen of the time. Morgan funded Tesla's research, expecting a profitable return. But when Tesla revealed his true goal, wireless, free electricity, Morgan cut all funding immediately. If anyone could tap into free energy, where would they put the meter? Tesla tried to continue the project alone, believing that if he built Wardenclyffe Tower, the world would eventually recognize its potential. But construction was slow. His lack of financial resources meant constant delays, unfinished components, and technical failures. Desperate to finish, Tesla tried approaching other investors, hoping they would see the future of wireless energy. But no one wanted to challenge Morgan, and Tesla was left without support. Still, Tesla didn't abandon his dream. He poured everything he had into Wardenclyffe Tower, a massive structure designed to transmit electricity wirelessly across the world. It was his greatest gamble, his most ambitious project. But without financial backing, the tower was never completed. The project collapsed, the tower was torn down, and Tesla fell into poverty and obscurity. Alone, broke and forgotten, he spent his last years in a small hotel room, feeding pigeons and dreaming of inventions that would never be built. On January 7, 1943, Nikola Tesla died alone. But his ideas never died. Because of Tesla, our homes, cities and industries are powered today. Because he stood against Edison, the world adopted a safer, more efficient electrical system. Because he dreamed of free energy, he inspired the technology we see in wireless power today. Tesla was not a man without problems. He was a man who found solutions, even when the world ignored him. His story is a reminder that genius alone is never enough. Without power and money, even the greatest minds can be erased. But history has a way of correcting itself. Today, Tesla is remembered not as a failure, but as a visionary who was simply too far ahead of his time. Do you think Tesla should be more famous than Edison? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you love learning from history, check out the link below. If you found this exploration insightful, please like, share and subscribe to The Solution Archives for more stories that connect past discoveries to present-day solutions.